All right, make a quick video. This is um, kind of an emergency Caesar dressing. Kind of want to have a Caesar dressing tonight, so got all the ingredients. We're gonna go ahead and get that done. Uh, got the background music on from uh, Lo-Fi Zen Lounge on YouTube. If you haven't uh, figured out that uh, good soothing music in the background will make your cooking experience much better. Lo-Fi Zen Lounge, my buddy's channel, and they put out regular videos that are just cool and groovy. About an hour long. Helps you with your study, etc. Blah, 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 blah. So first thing, ingredients. Um, red wine. Um, Weller uh, Antique 107 Whiskey. We got our romaine lettuce. Egg yolk. Dijon mustard. Garlic paste. You can use any kind of garlic you want. If you like minced garlic, you can use that. I like the garlic paste. <coughs> anchovies. These are the Bellino anchovy flat fillets. And all of all, this is the last three in the jar. Um, you can also use anchovy paste. This is the anchovy paste brand that I use. Uh, Worcestershire sauce. There is no other Worcestershire sauce except for Liam Perrin's. Uh, olive oil. A nice, good olive oil is what I like. This is, uh, I don't know how to say it, Oilo Oro Bilin. Fancy. Uh, white wine vinegar. You got your lemon. I don't have any lime, so I can't use lime, but I usually use both. Uh, Parmesan Reggiano cheese, grated. I don't buy the grated stuff, I grate it myself. So first thing I do is your anchovy fillets. You can put three or four in there, doesn't really matter how many you put in there. It won't make the fish taste. It just adds a good healthy flavor and lots of salt. So there won't be any salt added to this. Oh, and uh, cracked pepper, crushed cracked pepper. I'll use that. So I like to use two forks to to crush up the anchovies. Um, you want it as, as squished or as full as you want, as, as your flavor likes. Um, I have made it and put just raw full anchovy fillets on top. So we'll go ahead and put that in the, in the mixing bowl. Can. Anchovies have a really, not a harsh smell, but a definitely a salt water fish smell, but they don't really transfer that smell into your food. It just adds a really good flavor. So that's all we need with that cutting board. So after you put that in there, I got to get my whisk. This is my whisk. I think it came out of a kid's play cooking set. I'm not sure, but it's the best whisk that I could find. So put that in there. We're gonna put some anchovy paste in there also. Why not? And you put as much as you want. Anchovy paste is just kind of easier for convenience rather than cutting up your own. Put the Dijon mustard right on top of it. Put as much as you want. Chunky garlic, uh, the uh, garlic paste. This is just because I'm lazy. I don't want to cut up or mince other garlic. A oh, little Worcestershire. You don't have to put a lot in yet. We can add more later. We're going to. Um, after that's done, you want to mix it around a little bit with the fork and incorporate the ingredients. You want to make sure you layer this the right way. So, once you put the Worcestershire sauce in there, which has a lot of anchovies in it already, you can know that, and you put the Grey Poupon on top of it, that fishy smell's gone, totally gone, no longer there. Um, I want to add some oil around the edge to keep it to keep everything in and this is again there's no measurements in this you don't measure anything with this dressing you just put in what you, a 
little bit and then check it. And we're gonna put the uh, egg yolk and the white wine vinegar in next. So we incorporate, get the edges. Went ahead and got my whisk and using that. And you see this is pretty thick right now. It will thin down when you put the white wine vinegar and some of the other ingredients in it. That's good and together. So we'll take some of the white wine vinegar and we're gonna put it, put in there. I don't know how much that is. A couple, tea, couple tablespoons maybe. Egg yolk, separated egg yolk. Boom, put it right in there. So I've heard that the white wine vinegar will cook the egg yolk. I don't know if that's true. I don't think it is really, but I've heard that. So this is already smelling like a Caesar dressing. Take this half a lemon. Put the lemon in there. By the way, my buddy who owns this YouTube channel, allergic to lemons. So when I make a Caesar with him over, I don't put the lemons in there. You don't have to put lemon in um, for that reason only. I love lemon, so it's gonna get in there. So there you go. Half a lemon's about all you need. Now you can see the consistency is starting to get a little thinner. We're gonna change that up a little bit. We put this Parmesan cheese in it. So you can see, even though we squish the, <coughs> the technical term, squish the anchovies down, you can still see them in there. Like that little black spot there. I don't know if it's just me, but that kind of gives the dressing a little bit of a character. It's not this creamy, uniform, boring, store-bought Caesar dressing. This is um, something you can make at your own home. And also, don't forget the wine. And if you like it, um, I drink a little whiskey with it too. Cheese, Parmesan cheese. You want to add this relatively slowly so it doesn't clump. Continue stirring. You can put as much or as little as you want. I will be putting some on top of the, the salad after I get it incorporated with the, with the romaine. That's enough. You know what? No, it's not. We'll put in a little bit more. If anybody ever tells you that's enough cheese, just get rid of that person. I don't know what you're talking about. Incorporate everything. Pretty good. Cracked pepper. Don't use ground pepper. Use cracked pepper. The larger peppercorns is what makes that a little more hearty. Now we're talking. Now we're looking at what we got. If you get everything mixed in very well, you can see the consistency is much thinner, although it has some good chunky pieces of peppercorn, Parmesan cheese. Always, I mean always, taste it. Like that. Mm. Mm. You can figure out what you want in it. Mm. Anchovies are awesome. A lot of salt in there. So this is a little bit thick. I wanna put a little bit more of this uh, olive oil in there, extra virgin olive oil. Don't buy the fake olive oil. You can look and find out what's fake and what's real. Some of your olive oils have um, 
cheaper olive oils um, have seed oils and other things in them that they put in as fillers. Um, this is one that doesn't have that. This is from Spain, actually, Spanish. So this is a little creamier consistency with that extra little olive oil in there. One more time, same spoon. I don't care, it's my stuff, I'm eating it. That's perfect. That is the way I like it. That is the way I like it. Now what we're gonna do, set that off to the side. Oh, what I, one thing else I'll do. So the forks that I used to um, to crush up the anchovies in a scissor manner like this, there's still anchovy juice on here. I don't wanna waste that. So I just use those. Kind of make sure I get all the extra anchovies off of there. Mm. Wasted clean forks. Put those back in the drawer. In fact, I use one of them for my salad. Um, if I was going to do a whole bunch of lettuce, I would use the same bowl and just put the lettuce on top. But because this is so much dressing, I'm going to get a smaller bowl to mix it. Yeah. In fact, we'll just go with the bowl that I'm going to eat out of. Um, I put a little bit of this in there to start with on the bottom. A couple scoops is really all you need for that. And then this is just washed full leaf. And just break it a couple times with your fingers. I don't use scissors. Don't cut your leaf with scissors. This is good, fresh, full romaine. Sometimes, if there's too much of the, I don't know what the spine it is called, I guess, I don't know, whatever that is, the vein, get rid of that for me. Just like that. So, next thing we'll get more dressing. You can do this if you get the big full leaves and just toss a couple big leaves. I like a lot of dressing. There we go. And then what we do, we gotta get our and a little toss. That guy right there is not gonna get away. Drop a little piece in there, not gonna hurt anything. Just make sure you incorporate this. So every piece of lettuce gets enough. So there we go. Mm. Put that off to the side. Always extra cracked pepper on top. Always. No extra Parmesan on top. Sometimes you can put rel um, another filet of anchovy on there if you want to do that. So that's how to make the Caesar at home. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget. Low fives in <clears throat> on YouTube. Bye.